Hello and welcome back. So I'm so excited today. I've made a new organizer. My last video did ever so well. So if you're watching this one, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So this is the new DeWalt organizer. This box is the smaller, one of the smaller boxes because the other one was way too big. Um, also, I've done it a little bit different this time, not use wood because I think the last one was over six kilos. And this one is only 1.6. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, what I'll do is take you along to show you how I made it. Can you relate? Absolutely frustrating. But I think I've got an idea. And before we continue, I would love for everyone to hit that subscribe button or that like button and maybe even hit that bell. The thing is, it really helps me out in making more content and I've got a lot more ideas coming up soon about 3D printed parts for toolboxes. Thank you. Also, a quick note, I know this is only PLA, um, this was a prototype, but I am going to be using this for a good while to see how it holds up. Um, some of the infill is only 20%, some is 100%, um, but I want to see how well PLA uh, performs, because it isn't the strongest, and it was on fast print as well, so the layer lines, and they're not so tight, but I reckon it's going to do well, so I'm going to give this a really good shot. For, for a year maybe and then do a review but let's see right so this here is the middle section uh, basically measured it all and put all the holes in and all the grooves so they fit nicely and everything I need so that is basically it that's the middle section this is the end section so this is gonna be all the hand tools and just various tools I want to slot in so there we go and this is the box section I will call it just for the drills and stuff so there we go as simple as that and here it is all laid out before it goes in the toolbox and it works out at 1695 grams which is 1.695 kilograms which is crazy it's nearly 1.5 just a little bit over 200 grams over so a kilo and a half and a little bit but that's amazing right so to insert them these notches that I put in will simply slide in here like this. Very tight fit, but that's how I designed it. Now this will not come out unless you get a screwdriver and just wedge it with these little nodules here. But that's good, that won't move. That's stuck in there, which is what I wanted. Then this end piece here, the same thing. Goes down into these notches here. And this side that you can't see. Them in. And again, that won't come out because of these notches here, but you can just wedge a screwdriver and pull them up. And then finally, the middle section will just slot in and it stays in. And now that's in and that won't come out either. Just here, you get your finger in there and then that will allow you to pull it out and then you take out correspondence sides but that's how it sits and as you can see there is a lot of tools that actually fit into this so this is just to show you how many tools are actually in this box all organized 
and there we go what an awesome build i really had fun doing this and as you can see now i'm just putting the end of the brackets on for the hammer and some magnets we can't forget about them magnets you know how much i like magnets um we're going to see how this stands up only time will tell and i've had a lot of fun doing it a lot of fun filming it a lot of fun making the stuff as you can see i was using the uh screw holes already provided there just putting on the metal saw as you can see and that's solid but anyway as you can see simplicity look how easy it is to get things in and out i'll leave you here thank you very much for watching i thoroughly enjoyed it and i hope everyone enjoyed it and they've all learned something too i'll catch you all on the next one